you hear about it all the time, these, these fit people running marathons and all sorts and then dropping dead. What, yeah. what is, what's happening there? What's that? Yeah, okay. So there, there are two main ways to look at it. You've got problems with the structure of the heart. So again, bringing it back to this room analogy, it's problems with the, the wall or the valves. Or you've got problems with the electrics. Let's look at them both separately. Structure of the heart. There's this condition called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Now, that's not the sort of hypertrophy you get from abusing the steroids or having high blood pressure in the long term. This is a, a genetic predisposition to having abnormal growth of the muscle. Now, if that muscle gets thickened, um, it doesn't relax very well. So you end up with a heart failure type syndrome. But... Also within that muscle, you can get little islands of scar. There's, there's lots of healthy muscle tissue, but interspersed between it is scar tissue. And scar tissue in heart muscle is a bad thing to have because it's the scar tissue that upsets the electrics of the heart. Okay, So if you have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, you are more likely than your average Joe Bloggs on the street to have a sudden unexpected heart rhythm abnormality and not the sort of heart rhythm abnormality that may cause a stroke like atrial fibrillation or some that just cause people palpitations. Mm -hmm. If you have a heart rhythm abnormality that affects the bottom chamber of the heart, you, you know, you're gone, as I say, within a few seconds. Oh, you know, you know, you've seen the video of Ericsson, let's just stand there and down he goes. That, that That's all it takes. The difference between having a, a rhythm disturbance in between six and eight seconds is, you know, blacking out. And So is there any symptoms that he may have got or people get before that kind of thing happens because you, you like you said you find that they're really fit people you know they have no prior history so a lot of, and then a, boom they're yeah, gone yeah a lot of young people especially if they're serious about you sport you overwork your heart will have uh, you can and there is this condition called athlete's heart and when we see people with athlete's heart uh Part of the job is to try and tease out whether it's hypertrophic cardiomyopathy which is bad or whether it's athlete's heart, which is sometimes okay. But they can both mimic each other, you know, on lots of imaging and electrically, they behave very similarly. So trying to work out whether one is just, you know, normal because they've overtrained and the other one is potentially a life-threatening condition, sometimes you actually have to tell the patient to ease off a little bit for six months and then rescan and see what the heart does in response to that. That's what I was going to say. So with the athlete's heart, if they do knock it back, will improve. it will improve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it'll just go yeah. back to normal. And, and, sure. and there's less evidence to say that people with athlete's heart are more predisposed to having heart rhythm abnormalities. So it's a, it, it's a very different beast to genuine hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So hypertrophic cardiomyopathy in this country is really common. It's one in 500 in this country. That That's really common. You know, I see a lot of people with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Um, one of the things they're predisposed to is sudden cardiac death as a result of scarring on the heart. But hope for the vast majority of them, they've actually had symptoms long before that because they get this heart failure syndrome. So their exercise tolerance is reduced, these sorts of things. But generally speaking, it's something that will be diagnosed with, you know, certainly for an, uh, 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 a, uh, an elite sportsman or woman would have been through a screening process and they'd have had an ECG and they'd that's have probably had an say. echo. How, how did that not pick up? For well, like, that's so only the structural. So, so I'm, 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 I'm not sure he had Oakham. I don't think he did. Um, that's that's the structural side. Now, that's the one that gets people who aren't elite, you know, you, okay. you, your club sports person. Yeah, easy. the that's, Sunday uh, league player. more predisposed Sunday to getting player, that yeah. because they, you know, they, they haven't got, Twenty thousand pound, you know, yeah. sponsorship deals, and they're not getting the the medical support that you know that the high class people would get. Electrical abnormalities, though, you can't see them. You you know, you do an ultrasound scan of the heart. The heart looks completely plumb normal. You put them on a treadmill, and um, look at their heart electrically while they're hoofing it, and their heart looks completely normal. But occasionally, there can be changes in the electrical activation or really in the in the really small nitty-gritty cellular structure of the heart that causes abnormalities and how the electricity flows over the heart. And there's several different of these the, the types of conditions, all of which can cause sudden cardiac death. You can cause a young, otherwise very fit and healthy person to just bang, drop down dead. And unless there's, as I say, someone with the appropriate skill set and a defibrillator nearby, uh, they're in trouble. 
It's absolutely fucking scary, though. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? The way you say that, then you think, fucking hell. Yeah. Like, you could just... You never know, yeah. I mean, it's ridiculously rare. Oh, yeah, but, of course. But the yeah. thing is, you can't yeah. you, you can't really screen for some of these conditions. You know, there are organisations out there that do screening. Uh, that You know, they just go to local sports centres. And I've seen people as a result of that. You know, they've they've gone, had the screening done, and they've been found to have an abnormality on their just their ECG. And then they get referred in to me for uh, for workup for that. It's mad, isn't it? Though? Yeah. Mad. 